All right, family, it's your brother Assad. And we are back again with another quick video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new content on this channel. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, I got to give a, a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar type of love to my South African family for all the love you guys have shown this channel. My family, my kids, we greatly appreciate it. Third, in terms of housekeeping, we got to still show love and sympathy and concern for our family and uh, KZN for the uh, flooding. We just want y'all to bounce back. We are uh, uh, from a city that has dealt with significant flooding, so we know that it takes time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take resiliency. It's going to take prayer. It's going to take supplication. It's going to take leaning on your family, friends, and other loved ones in order to rebuild, but you can do it. I have faith in you. Finally, I, April 24th at 6 p.m. South African time. 6 p.m. South African time, we will have the African-American, South African, African-American dialogue. This Sunday, April 24th, the Zoom link will be in the description of this video. And just like that, bam, 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 we are done with the intro. So we are coming up next. We want to talk about who the special guests mm. are that we have with us today. Adrian, you got something to say? No, 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 no. Let's introduce oh. the guest. Okay, but okay, <laughs> good, 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 good. So this weekend, we had a mini meetup. It was supposed to be three couples, it ended up being two plus one. A brother drove from Pensacola, Florida to, to, hang, to hang out with us. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to talking about him in a second. But the couple, I don't know if they're gonna be at the bottom of your screen on the left, but Red and Stacy from Changing the Narrative, they came down and kicked it with us and we had a phenomenal time. But yes. since he couldn't be there, I wanted to bring Doc back on. I don't, Doc, where's uh, Patrice? Uh, she checked out for the night. Tell me what's up. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She checked so, out. So Doc was supposed to be there, but since he wasn't, we are all here. And we're just going to talk about our South African plans, our love for SA. We'll talk right, briefly right. about the mini meetup that we had down here in the old um, city of Nouveau Orleans, right? And um, and I don't know, we'll see That's what this thing. takes. As I know Stacy has some uh, some uh, questions for Doc. Yes. You may want to ask, and we'll get into it. So, Red and Stacy, you guys were in New Orleans. Um, quick question, what do, what, what do you think of the city? Well, we, we've been there a couple times before, but, all of our other trips have been purely drinking, drinking some more, drinking some more, drinking some more, <laughs> eating. <laughs> so we've always enjoyed the food and the party atmosphere, but um, Asad and Adrian gave us like a, a different perspective on the city, gave us a little bit of a historical context and, um, it was just different, like being there with people who actually live in the city. We saw like uh, the huge. What's the what's the name of the what's the name of the lake? Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Humongous. Beautiful. It looks like a seaside. Like it's yeah. beautiful, and I have never seen it. Never even thought to go there before. Um, we went to Congo Square. Um, we talked about, uh, you know, all of the, the flooding and the, uh, all the issues in New Orleans. And it just really gave you a different perspective on the city. So I really, really yeah. appreciate you taking so much time to Man, show us I, around your town. I, I appreciate you guys came down. I love showing people around this city and letting them see uh, my city from a different perspective. Now, Doc is a... Uh, He's not a New Orleans native, but he went down here during his formative years of, at university, right? Yeah. right? So he knows the, the, the city well, you know. Um, Doc, what's your thoughts on New Orleans? Then we'll move on to South Africa. Uh, New Orleans is a great city. Um, I was there for four years from uh, 1988 to 92. Uh, it's unlike any city in the United States. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's totally different. 
um, great food, you know, great people. And I had a good time while I was there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, well, let's jump into the South Africa talk, man. So um, uh, uh, Stacey and Red, let's go to Red. Red, where, 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 are, where are you guys in y'all journey to uh, ZA? Oh, you see what I did there? <laughs> well, right now we're wishing, hoping, praying that we were there right now. That's what we've been doing on a daily basis. Um, but also uh, figuring out what we're, what we're gonna ship, whether we're gonna ship, how much we're shipping, um, trying to figure out our job situation in the meantime. Um, our ultimate goal is to start a restaurant in South Africa, selling Southern American um, breakfast. Mm. So, really excited about that trying to get into like all the regulations and rules and what type of visa we're going to need so just doing a lot of research at this point so so what's y'all's timeline for transition the end of the year yeah we're, we're hoping for like september october but it could be december mm. it just what? depends on uh our we have one one kid still in the house so we're just waiting to make sure she's off to college and good before we scoop. So college yeah. starts in August, right? College yeah. starts in August, September. Yeah. No, no, not September, August. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be up out of here in September. <laughs> All right. September, right. As, soon as, we, as soon as we drop her off and we know she's fine, <laughs> that plane ticket, that plane ticket. Stacey ain't got his bags packed. Oh. I don't think I unpacked mine since uh <laughs> since March. Hey. Man, no, man. It's, it's, I don't live in no more. You don't right, right. <laughs> I don't live in no more. You're, you're going, you're going mentally already. It's just yeah. like when you break up with somebody and you haven't told them yet, you just broke up with them in your head. <laughs> <laughs> you already in love with somebody else. Yeah, you already <laughs> I already met somebody else. I'm just trying to make sure that you know we out of this lease first before I tell you. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where we're at right now. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. In our head. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm already gone. I done checked out of work and everything. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. They were sending me emails. I used to be. <laughs> they sending me emails. I was looking at it. I ain't with y'all no more. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> let, the, let the people go to jail. They would they cry. They, they cry anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Doc, what, where where you at on it? Well, I've I've already sold my house uh, last <laughs> October, so I sold the house, left all the furniture in, and gave it away. I ain't selling. <laughs> I just left everything, and uh, I'm in the process of selling my practice, and that should be over by June first. And so June, well, it's gonna be before June, like probably like May thirtieth or twenty something. But June first, we're gonna be on a plane heading to uh, Johannesburg. And uh, we're going to be there from the 2nd through the 9th. And then as I plan to go back in August, like probably August 1st and stay for a couple of months and then, you know, kind of go back and forth because we still have family here that we have to, you know, deal with. So we'll be going, going back and forth, but we'll be staying like two to three months at a time and coming back. Man, but, yeah. But eventually, hopefully by, by, by next year, we can say we're there full time, but yeah. we're going to try to spend as much time as we can in South Africa. Yeah. Are you retiring there? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Sorry. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not practicing dentistry over there, but I'm going to, um, you know, we're going to do something. I mean, we're we going to be, you know, starting a business or whatever or, or buy some real estate. We're not going to ever just retire and do nothing, but we're going to be doing something. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. And I think that's part of, um, you know, like initially that's what we were thinking. We're going to go back and forth and blah, 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 blah. But the more I think, I think Stacy and I had this conversation, like, am I coming back? I have to because I have a mom here and a dad here mm -hmm. and a sister. But other than that, no, I'm not coming to hang. I'll fly oh, no, no, That's the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason why we're coming back for relatives. That's relatives, it. man. See yeah. my mama, see my daddy, see my sister. Then I'm getting on the plane and I'm out. And I don't have to see them long. I don't even know. <laughs> 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 okay, 
don't have to know no two or three weeks. No. Right. Just no. tell them to meet you at the terminal. Huh? <laughs> Just tell them to meet you at the terminal. Just meet you at the airport. You can go to the food court and then go back. <laughs> <laughs> All the way back to the states for that. You can meet in Dubai. You can meet in London, and these Facts. things are interesting. <laughs> I wish, I wish my people, like my parents, are. Oh, today's my daddy's birthday too. I wish uh. they would get, it, they were able body to get on the plane mm -hmm. and to come because I would, I would always make them come. I would just pay for it. Come on, but since mm -hmm. they're not well enough physically, I have to come back here right. and see them. But um, yeah, it'll be in and out. Like bam, 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 just like that. I mean, <laughs> in and out. And uh, how you plan to do with your parents? Oh, I gotta go see them. They're not gonna get on the plane. Yeah. They yep. already said, I'm done traveling. I'm not doing no long. I'm not doing that. But then your mom said she was gonna come. She's talking, but that's not gonna happen. That's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad said he gonna come. Uh, yeah. I got I got quite a few family members and friends that's that's telling me as soon as you lock it down, we coming. Yeah. I was telling Stacy we need to start a scheduler. We need to put like a, a scheduler or a Squarespace or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Book time. It's like y'all yeah. can't all come at one time. Like we need to space this thing out. Like we need we need a scheduler. Y'all not just gonna be popping up 12 months out of the year. See, the <laughs> thing about it is this. What, what I see see happening is I think a lot of people talking mm -hmm. initially, but it's gonna be for me that one friend who is going to come back and he is going to convince everybody else y'all need to go because there's fire over there. You know what I'm saying? So right now they just think I'm crazy and my wife is crazy. We leave in the country and we go on whatever have you. It's going to take one friend in particular to go over there, see how we live in, and then everybody else is going to be like, oh yeah, well, we're going to visit us. We're we going to come every year. So I know you're not. <laughs> not, to <my> <laughs> not to my house you're not coming every year to my house if you come every two or three years give me a chance to miss you my mama used to tell me you know, don't over don't overstay your welcome uh -huh. well out your welcome or something like that yeah don't come every but yeah i think that's what's going to happen with a lot of my uh my close friends or whatever have you mm -hmm. they're talking all that now but it's going to take one person to come Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot of people need to see it uh, and that's what's going to convince people you know uh you did a video while you was in uh johannesburg and you was eating on lamb ribs and the way you were sucking <laughs> 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 it, it was almost pornographic but <laughs> so the way you was eating on ribs i'm like man I need to get them real. Like whatever, whatever restaurant you was at, I need to order that the next time I come. So like I say, it takes somebody seeing you living good for them to say, okay, yeah, I need to be here. Right. But you know, right now they just think we're just talking. Think we're crazy. And yeah. what's crazy, and that's why we need to bring up what was brother's name who came to the meetup? Oh. Was it Gerald? Okay. That don't sound right. Uh, no. Don't sound right. <laughs> that don't sound right. That don't sound right. Hold on, let me find his brother. Let me find his brother's name, man. And my phone about to die. That don't that sounded right to me, but okay. Gerald? Really? No, that's my dad's name. I remember that. I need some Prevagen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What that is? <laughs> that man name is Gerald. That really? man's name is Gerald. <laughs> like Levert. <laughs> <laughs> His name Man. is Gerald. Shout out to brother Gerald. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Gerald. Gerald, I thought that was his name, but you know, sometimes my mind don't work. But Gerald, Gerald is a lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. And and look, first of all, the brother called and said, yeah, look, I'm at the uh, Rich Carlton. Is this going to be near the... Oh, bro, you ain't got to spot like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rich Carlton. You might as well stay in America. You got money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, no, honestly, he um, but what I'm saying is like he went there. I think I think he went there last year and recently yeah. got back or something like that. Uh maybe even this year. But he went there and now he is like, man, I'm just trying to upgrade my quality of life. I'm trying yeah. to move there. But again, I have made the statement over and over is doc is 
business owners, as lawyers, as black folk who who you would say, man, these people are successful. Yeah, no, right. mm-hmm. You got money, you're doing good. You could yeah. take, you got enough money to say, I took two and three trips over there, or I can go there and stay two or three, uh, you know, a, a month and all that type of stuff. If you have money like that, most 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 of our people, most black folk don't have money like that, right? Most black folk to spend a thousand dollars will break them. You understand? Most yeah. Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Forty plus percent of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, and an unexpected five hundred dollar expense will drive them into debt. You understand? That's the number. That's who we are. That's what we are. So when you hear somebody like, yeah, I went to South Africa twice last year, or I've mm-hmm. been to South Africa twice, period. Not just last year. I went to South Africa in, in 2000 and I went back last year. <laughs> yeah, that, that's different. That, that Most people can't say that. Mm-hmm. If you, if you yeah. pick the average person, and particular Black person, and ask them how many international trips they have taken, most will tell you they have never left the country. And if really? they did, they went to Dominican Republic, right? Yeah, Jamaica, uh, yeah. Jamaica, Mexico, Mexico, yeah. so, somewhere, somewhere really close. So this, so this brother, again, he already set up a retirement plan in Panama. In Panama, yeah. right? He had a house already in Panama. But what I'm saying yeah. is, for for those of us who have been able to talk this international talk and to live this international life, people will say, "Man, y'all doing good with you." Why would you leave? So that's why I want to ask y'all, why would you leave? You're doing good. Yeah, to do better. To do better. (laughs) (laughs) Why are we we leaving? To do better. To do better. For Mm. better, for to better ourselves, even better. Right. (laughs) Everything is better. Yeah. (laughs) You know, that's what it is. You know, that's true. That is that what the brother said to improve his quality of life yeah a man wait a minute a man that's staying at the ritz carlton is telling you <laughs> moving to johannesburg will improve his quality of life i just don't think people understand what i'm saying who already stays on a gated estate right in pensacola right yeah. i'm look gated we can't get nothing gated here <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's crazy nothing you gated. think about it Doc, you a doctor. Your wife is a physician. Y'all got money. Why y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I thought his next question was big. Can I have some? <laughs> Man, it's just um, like 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 uh, Stacy said, uh, it's just a better quality life. Um, just the atmosphere of being in South Africa, I feel free and relaxed. And, you know, aside could attest to it, as soon as you get to the airport and make it back to the United States, you just feel depressed, heavy, mad. It, it, I mean, the last time we came, we, we, we was, you know, with the side back in uh, March and it took a week for me to get a better attitude because I was in a bad mood for a week. <laughs> Once I got home, yeah. it was just bad. And, and I'm pretty much done checked out. You know, I'm, I'm trying to put on a good face for my patients and, and act like I'm interested, but I <laughs> All I'm your just, teeth could fall I'm out. Going. <laughs> <laughs> I hope none of my patients see it, but yeah, I'm just, I yeah. done, done checked out, man. I'm, yeah, I'm Doc, I know that, 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 I don't know if it's the first time, but it, I think it was the first time we got back. Before, before the plane, before the plane landed, it was just going on, it was just going down. And my wife looked at me, she was like, this place stinks. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't even laying, the doors ain't open yet or nothing. She just bowled her face up and said, this place stinks. That's just how it is, man. You know, you, you go to the mall over there, they got, you know, three and four levels and all these stores. And then I had to come back to Belk and J.C. Penney. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm asking people, have you ever heard of King Cliff? Nobody knew what I was talking about. All we know about is catfish and pan trout, but yeah. you know, nobody knew about King Cliff. I'm trying to explain to them. It, it, it looked like sea bass. It tastes like sea bass. Yeah. But nobody know what I'm talking about here. So mm-hmm. like I, I had an opportunity, you know, the last time we uh we uh 
you know, I basically ate uh, beef and lamb and fish. I only ate chicken once the whole nine days I was there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, it, uh, you know, over here, I'm eating chicken all the time. So, over there, you know, I'm able to eat a higher grade of meat and, and, and higher level of food every day. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, yeah, so, you know, we had a great time. The weather was great. And like I said, the people was, you know, was good to us and stuff. And we just had a great time. And I just can't wait to get back over there. Yeah. Speaking the of food, food though. So good. We, no, I was just going to say the food is so, Absolutely. so different. So different. So good. So fresh. Like, it's like night and day. And then the portion sizes are not enormous like mm -hmm. they are here and the yeah. food that's actually on your plate on your plate's quality so you don't even feel like oh i'm missing out because i don't have this huge slab of food on my plate it's just so much better and in the the hake fish is that how you say it hake fish the beer batter hake fish oh man i he ate, ate that like five hake, times hake, hake, all hake. i was eating was lamb chops you, know, you, got, know, you gotta try the hake fish that Ooh, fish h-a-t-e h-a-k-e -E. oh hake okay Okay. And food lovers. Okay. What the bomb? I, I'll try it. I'll try it. But, you know, I went I got to get some reels that a side had, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was ridiculous. You need to go back and look at that video. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to type in a side sucking ribs. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. <laughs> <laughs> but we were talking at, at dinner that night, that night about the bread and how fast the bread went from being fresh to, to like getting a little a moldy or whatever have you. Mm. And some people may see that as a problem, but what mm. it is, is that it's not, the bread is not filled with all of those preservatives that'll make your bread last, like American bread last two or three weeks, mm. yeah. right? Bread is made with yeast. Yeast is supposed to turn to mold. Mm -hmm. That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Right? But yeah. bread over here, you can I can buy a, a loaf of bread that'll last me two weeks. Easy two weeks. The bread over there was two, three days, maybe. And but that lets you know that you're not putting all of this extra stuff into mm -hmm. your body. They're not putting it all into the food, and you're not putting that into your body. When I was looking at the at the grocery store, like uh, you know, the best buy dates, you know, it was always two or three days away. The yeah. best buy dates here can sometimes be seven days or next week. I bought some almond milk that was in the little container and the, the best buy date is like three months from now. What you gave me, man? <laughs> and it could be that good for, for three months. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. It's just, you so, know, then when we get there and we shop, we're going to have to, instead of shopping for a week, like we normally shop for, yeah, you yeah. might can only shop for two days, maybe three days. Right, you right. Know, the milk, the milk, the milk's already different. The cheese tastes different. Yeah. And the refrigerators, the refrigerators are also not like not as cold to mm. me. They're not like they're not as cold as I, as the refrigerators here. Yeah. And because they, the food doesn't have a lot of preservatives in it, it's mostly like I mean I haven't even seen I didn't even see organic food there you know right. what i mean like I, I don't remember seeing like that label of organic yeah, that label yeah you know what i'm saying like a whole section in the grocery store and in the, in the grocery sections that's organic i don't i it was just onions and tomatoes it i don't even remember seeing that i mean you know so that it's organic you, they understood don't right organic. yeah yeah and the right. fruit look the fruit looks so delicious over there mm -hmm. yeah the strawberries is big and red and juicy <sighs> Yeah, man. They only lasted one day. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a twenty. It was like forty-eight hours, and I was like, "Is that fun?" Yeah, and I guess you have to learn different ways to preserve, freeze them. You know, put them in the freezer, whatever have you. Make jelly, like I'm talking about the fruit and stuff. Make some jelly. Uh, what do you call it? Jams and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, make some prison wine. You know, <laughs> <laughs> some moon, some moonshine. Moonshine, yeah. So, so yeah. brother Stacy, what questions did you have for Doc? Yeah. Uh, so, how many times have you been over there already? Uh, two. Uh, two. we yeah, we went uh for the first time last May, uh, and then we went uh we pulled ahead went in December, but we wasn't able to make it, 
And so we ended up coming uh, this past March. What side of town did you stay on? Uh, where did we stay the first? First time we stayed in Melrose Arch because uh, we went through a uh, real South Africa. So, you know, that's where they put us at. And then the second time we stayed uh, at the Monte Casino. And this time coming up in, Jan in June, we're going to be in uh, Rosebank. Nice. Nice. I love yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And you know what funny thing is? We was there last year in May. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It was. We, we went, we went the beginning. We actually we left the, the end of April and stayed to like May 11th, I believe. I think we were there during that time period. Yeah. Yeah. We were in, we were in Santon though. That's oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that, that trip, that trip, we stayed for like 24 days. 21. 21 days. 21, 22. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's when you really get to kind of feel the place. Like we've never stayed more than two weeks, yeah. you know. So it's like mm. boom in and out. But each time, like the times that we have gone for like a week, it feels much different than the times when you go for two weeks. Like when you start going into that that second week, like you really start getting into the rhythm of Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. When you're there for when we were just there for a week, it's like you're trying to do so much. It's like, I got to check on my property. I got to run to this person. I got to do this. I got to, and bam, 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 bam. And then before you know it, it's I like, know. you're out. And, yeah. and, and because it's so short, that feeling that you, both of you guys were talking about, that dread, that dreadful feeling of having to return, it's always lingering. It's like right there. You know, mm -hmm. like I'm only here a week. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. each, each day that passes, it's like, you know, that feeling is just like right there on the side of your face. So, uh, but when you start, when, when we stayed there, I guess when you do the two weeks, it's like, yeah, okay. I got some time here. I can relax <laughs> a little bit. And yeah, you, you really start to feel the vibe of the city, man. And it was just yeah. you know, great. The first, the first trip for us, it was strictly just having, having a good time. Then the second trip, we actually wanted to feel, wanted to see how it felt to actually live there. You yeah. know, no plans. Just get up, yeah. go get breakfast, you know, and just just see how it actually going to be when we actually make the move. Yeah, and it, it was it was a lot different. Yeah. Even those nights that we didn't go anywhere and we just stayed in and like watch Nigerian dramas or whatever we were doing, <laughs> with the window open and the breeze and the mosquitoes coming in, it was just like. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, look at the cute little mosquitoes. Like, they're so. Y'all yeah. have, I, I haven't seen a mosquito the whole time, yeah. the times I went. We didn't see any bugs the first time we went. Like, it might have been the time of year. We went, when we went, it was, that was what, uh, fall? First time was fall. Fall. The second yeah. time was summer. But I think it was just where we were, you know, because the first, the first place that we stayed, was a hotel and we were like on the seventh floor or something like that. So like, there's really no bugs up that high. But in the hotel that we were staying the second time, we were on like, what, the third floor? Yeah. Something like that. We were on like second or third floor. So it wasn't, you know, and it's like an area where there's malls and there's just a whole bunch of stuff. So I think it might just be the area that we were in the second time. But also take consideration that, like I said, it was autumn. so. Mosquitoes are not out when it's cold. Yeah, when it starts yeah, getting cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think. I mean, and, and we didn't even close the windows. We just like closed the curtains, and yeah. then you know we were we were good after that. But yeah, I mean, yeah. it was awesome. I mean, and when I said it stinks, like I really meant that. <laughs> like the air smells bad when you land yeah. after you've been breathing in. Like even though we were in Rosebank, which is a pretty you know city area. Yeah. It just stinks. It stinks here. Yeah. <laughs> well, New, New, New Orleans got it just got a funny smell regardless, you know. Yeah. It has, a, it has a, it's, its own smell because it's 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 I like think we felt that though. What? Like when we got here, it was like, oh. Oh man, listen. The air is thick and, and trash everywhere. Oh. And um, yeah, the, the potholes and the danger. It's just a whole lot of stuff that make you leave New Orleans. I don't know. I don't know y'all in in Texas. So y'all might have it a little bit easier. And 
Texas is a little prettier than New Orleans. I'm sorry, yeah, man. Yeah. Texas I is mean, it might, it, it, it might be prettier some places. Yeah. It depends on where you go. Like, yeah. just like what you were showing us, we were driving down St. Charles and it was oh, beautiful yeah. houses. Cool. You drive two blocks over and it's like, what happened? Like, you really Dog concerned. <laughs> it's like that here too. You drive around downtown, you go two blocks from downtown and you like, am I okay? Is yeah. it safe? It's, it's, it's the same way in in Houston. It's just like people, that's not a tourist place. Like people don't just roll through third ward for no reason. No. You know I mean? No, I ain't got no reason to be there. At yeah. all. You ain't got no reason to be there. Like you wouldn't be there. Yeah. At you know, all. so you just don't see those parts. I was and looking you, for some uh, barbecue one time we were in Texas and I saw where it was located. I was like, I'm not gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> take, okay. take me by the white people where it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question now. Don't be nasty. I got a question since you brought up barbecue. Yeah. You got Mr. Memphis down there on the bottom. Oh yeah. So, oh man. So so barbecue or bry? Oh well, I haven't had bry yet over. Oh. Uh, not yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, but uh, yeah, Memphis is. I mean, I'm not from Memphis. I'm, I'm I'm from Mississippi. I'm just in Memphis. I've been in Memphis for the past two years. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So. It's just simply because I had a dental office there, but other than that, I don't claim Memphis at all. <laughs> Ooh, your client's gonna be mad when they see this. I, I tell them, I tell my friend, I'm not from Memphis. I said I'm from Mississippi. I did, I'm I'm here. I work here, but I don't claim Memphis. <laughs> hey, uh, got, what's, the, what's the name of that neighborhood? White Haven. White Haven. Black White Haven. Haven. Yeah. Black, yeah, Black Haven. Haven now. Yeah, Black Haven. <laughs> yeah. Black Haven. Yeah. Black Haven. Nah. Yeah. You don't, you don't but, see uh, a white dog walking around there. Huh? <laughs> I said, you don't even see a white dog walking around. Them. <laughs> yeah. But I think I think the bride situation, man, you know, I don't know. The bride we had was good. Yeah, I oh, think yeah it's good. good. Yeah, it's definitely good. Um, I just think it, it depends on what you like. I think the bride, let me be clear to my South Africa, I think the bride is fantastic. I think it's great. It is. But our barbecue, which is, they say it's different. I like the tangy sauces that we put on it or whatever have you. So I didn't get that with the bride. It was like no. cooked and, you know, it was flavorful and all that, but something about smoke yes, for yes, me yes. requires a little barbecue sauce. Yes. That's what I, that's what I always say. And I and I, I don't know what podcast it was, but I say, yo, it's just something about that smoke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I I agree, but I did really like the bride because yeah. I yeah. I could like eat bacon every day of my life, and it gave me like the the bacon texture, like that saltiness, the crispiness. Yeah, it did. So like I I like it. It's just like you know, just like for breakfast, like either you want some days you want bacon, some days you want sausage. Some days you want shrimp, you know, it just depends on the mood that I'm in. But I, I really, I really like mm -hmm. the fry. Yeah. I hope you learn how to cook it good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I smoke. Because otherwise, I'm going to be, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so <I'm> here. <laughs> can, can you even buy that? Yeah. Yeah. If you can't say, if you can't say it to all of these folks from here, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I want to hear highlights. Highlights. I do because I don't. I don't think I've seen you, Doc, since since the trip, since your last trip. So I want to hear like the highlights of your last trip. Like, what are the what sort of the experience that really sits with you that you enjoyed? And the same thing for Stacy and Red. Like, of your last trip, of all the great things y'all did. Like, what are some of like the real highlights from your trip? The first, okay, the first time we went in uh, last year, it was just basically, well, it's a long story, but it was just basically it was just me and my wife. We didn't, we just kind of went to the mall and explored on our own. We didn't really meet anybody. Uh, this second trip, in a matter of four days, I ended up meeting like 20 people uh, out of the 20, probably at least 15 of them South Africans. And we was able to exchange numbers and we had a 
a, a wonderful time while we was there and they, they, they brought us into their home. They fed us. They treated us like family and they kept up with us. They, I, my fact, I text eat me and easy. We, we text every day. Wow. I, yeah. I keep up with all of them. So they, 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 they made sure we got on a plane. They made sure we landed. Okay. They, they tell us they praying for us and all that stuff. And so that made us feel good. We genuinely met friends over there. And so we can't wait to get back because they're going to in- introduce us to other people. So, you know, I, I it, it's impossible to go to South Africa and say you can't meet friends because they are so welcoming. Um, like I said, they brought us in. They didn't even, first of all, they thought, okay, easy invited us to come over to somebody's house. They didn't know anything about us. They thought we was going to be some white people. So when, we, when they opened the door and saw that we were black, they were shot, you know? So, but they, they set out like a five course meal. This is on a, on a Tuesday. So it wasn't like on a weekend, you know, they came off work and did a five course meal and, and sat down with us and we ate and we talked to, you know, at least 10, 10 30 that night. And if, if it was a weekend, we probably would have been there a lot longer, but you know, they had to go to work. Yeah. But we had a great time. Our kids had a great time meeting uh, some of the kids and the cousins and nieces and nephews. And so we, 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 we bonded pretty well. So that was the highlight of meeting new people. Uh, we met people like Robin and Sheree. They was from uh, Los Angeles and we, we hit it off instantly. Uh, of course, we uh, met with, uh, with uh, Asha. And so the, the idea that we was able to go there and, 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 we we ate lunch and we sat there for five hours talking. Yeah, and, we did. And I yeah, well, that was with you. I'm talking about with, with Asha and and, oh. and 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 Robin and Sheree. We we talked five straight hours. Wow. And, and 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 then yeah, then when we met the second time with y'all, yeah, we talked for five hours. And that's just unusual in the United States. You can't stay at a restaurant more than 35 minutes to 45 minutes. They're trying to get you up out of there. Yeah, but, uh, over the after ticket. they don't rush you. <clears throat> yeah, over get, here they're trying to bring you the, the ticket all discreet and like, hey, get out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to give you a prime example of what, what Red is talking about, it's Ramadan. We broke fast in a restaurant at 7:31. Today, we were at home at 8:46. And <laughs> <laughs> <It's> time to <laughs> start this at because that's how quick they, they put us out. They brought mm-hmm. the food, we ate, they the then they bring the check. <laughs> and, and if you sit and you feel awkward if you sit there after that check been brought, like maybe I need <laughs> to order a coffee or something. You know what I'm saying? They don't get a chance feel- to even get dessert because they brought your check with your entree. <laughs> yeah. They say, Sometimes. Then they'll say, take your time, but they're standing there waiting for you to pull your wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Man, I want to talk about Easy though. Shout out to Easy, man. E- Ezekiel is a, is a solid brother. Now he he had you with a five course laid out meal at somebody nice house. He brought me to the hood. He brought me to <laughs> Alexander Township. I'm out there. It's like it's like the third one. It's like the Magnolia Project. I'm just like woo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But then I knew I knew something was up because like Easy was too comfortable and people was too respectful. I was like, he must be like a retired gangster. He must be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he must be the OG here. Like they don't mess with him. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I think I'm straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, so was was Alex, was like, we was in Alex too, but we was in Alex too. But I was like, I don't think we need to be here though. <laughs> now, this I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> we was looking for the wall plug to convert our plugs to their plugs. Oh, and and, and Red found something on the internet said they had them at some place at Alexandria. But I saw it was like five minutes away from. Uh, Where was that? No, five minutes away from Four Ways. So I'm oh, like, okay. can't be that bad. It's like yeah, right next yeah. to Four Ways. It's like right there. So then we get there, and it's like. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. It's just really extremely congested. It's just a lot of people. Yeah. And I think that if I have Stacy with me, that's like the cheat code and I'm safe everywhere. Yeah, so I'm yeah. like, let's go in here and get the little plug. <laughs> 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 Stacey can't be there. 
Stacy can't beat up. Stacy can't beat up twelve people. They <laughs> all <laughs> 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 little. <laughs> But they all shorter than you. Like you can handle it. Let's go. And for those who don't know, Stacy is a uh, uh, is a giant. Like, <laughs> his brother is six seven. Ooh, six yeah. seven. I was walking next to him like a little kid, like uh, Kevin Hart and Shaq. I was like a little boy. <laughs> oh, how shit. tall are you, Lori? Me? Yeah. Five four. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Don't hey, let this crazy. don't let this fool you. Like my <laughs> share is really high and his is low. <laughs> Gotta be. Okay. My my sister is married to a man who is six six and she is like five four. Yeah, it's it's I didn't, did y'all fly first class or business class? Because there's no way you did economy exit, to seven. Exit I, I, everywhere I fly, I can be fly out tomorrow, exit rope. Okay. Exit row, yeah. <laughs> Poor Exit man's row. first class. Yeah. Exit Gotta row. have it. Look, the flights that we took though were not nowhere near full. So I just found myself a place and I just laid across all the seats. So mm -hmm. I had a bed basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was good. Like I was, I was, I had a great time on the flight. I had popped me some uh some pain medication. Yeah. And I was out. For about 10 hours. <laughs> I think the flights we took in 2021, like the February and June yeah. flights were pretty empty. But that December joint, they was packed. And then March, packed. Pack. Wasn't no I was full. Yeah, wasn't no I was like, yeah, I really, I about, think go ahead. I said I think it was about 10 black people. I was just gonna yeah. ask what's the what was the ratio to black to white? I was just gonna ask that. Yeah, it was like Putting pepper and grits, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> the pepper and grits. Yeah. The, the, um, the, uh, the black people that were on our plane were South African too. So it wasn't even like yeah. us. Yeah, 95, 99% yeah. of them were South mm -hmm. African. Yeah, okay. But not, but you asked us how was our experience the second trip, right? Not yeah, the first yeah, trip. yeah, yeah. Well, the second trip, like I said, it was just strictly about just living living life every day. But we didn't we didn't do too much though. We did know? a whole lot. Not, not not compared to the first oh, trip. Drink is like, I'm sorry. We didn't do a lot, you know. Like we would, we went out with you guys for New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my out, out there, out there in Mambale. Yeah, my wife's birthday was. Uh, I can't remember my birthday for the second. But anyway, um, <laughs> had a surprise party for her at Altitude Beach. Um, it wasn't a surprise. I knew about it. You didn't know about it. I didn't know. I didn't know about the, the cake surprise. Well, you didn't know what the surprise then. <laughs> so yeah, we, we, we but definitely when we get back down, oh, we're gonna turn up. Yeah. All the way up. We're gonna have some fun. When y'all going? We'll be <clears throat> New beginnings, huh? So when y'all going back? Like I said, if I have my way, it'll be it'll be September. Okay. No later than October. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we're supposed to have our situation with the uh thing on June 10th. I'm leaving on June 11th. You understand right. what I'm saying? I'm out. <laughs> so so Assad, I'm gonna need that information. You said something about going to DC. Yeah. So you, you gotta go to the embassy. So you know they don't make it easy, easy, easy to get these visas, right? And I, what I what I mean by that is that um, our friend Josh, who lives in Dallas, had to fly from Dallas to D.C. to go and deliver his paperwork or start the process of his visa. We have to fly to D.C. to start, and, and you have to make an appointment, which is not that hard because. You know, the immigration people made it seem like it was hard. You actually go online, send an email, and an hour later, I got a date. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yes, you have to go to the embassy. If you live in this area is DC, other areas is New York. And I think they have another one in LA, but don't quote me on that. I know there's one in New York and one in DC. But when you think about that, it's four of us. There's a wife, myself, and two children. Well, that's four plane tickets I got to buy to go to mm -hmm. dc you know to deliver paperwork 
You don't have to have your kids don't have to come. That oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, because kids Josh, don't have to come. That's that's right. I forgot. Yeah, Josh said he's just gonna go by himself next time. Yeah. yeah. But do you, but you said something about you can pay somebody to do this though. Yeah. So that was one of the things we were talking about last video. Can you should you pay an immigration person? Let me say this. No. Yes and no. For me, for me and the type of person I am. I like the fact that somebody else is doing the checks and balances for me to make sure that I'm not missing anything so that I don't have to go back to DC twice or that my, my paperwork won't get rejected and I got to apply again and all that good stuff. I like someone to mm -hmm. say, this is the list. You need everything. You need everything on this list because some of the stuff online, oh, well, everything is not on. Right. Everything that you see on that the, the the Department of Home Affairs is some other stuff that you may need or that like medical insurance. I don't think they have that listed on the Department of Home Affairs Home Home Affairs website. But you're going to need medical insurance for the first full year that you're there, right? When you're applying for these long-term visas, so you got to find Discovery, which is one of the med uh, the insurance providers, and they don't call them medical insurance is called something. I can't remember the name. It's another name for it, but it's your medical insurance is what we, what we would call it. Mm -hmm. So that's not, I don't think that's on the website. So that's something that my immigration guy, knew. so that's something that you don't want to get there and they'd be like, oh, you know, you need insurance um, or whatever have you. And now you got to leave and come back. Uh, what else? I don't know. If, I think they mentioned those two passport photos, but if not, you got to have those two passport photos. Um, you got to have signed uh, medical, your medical clearance, as well as your radi radiology report, radiological report, I should say, mm -hmm. right? And they have to be signed by the radiologist and then by your primary care physician, right? To show that you're in good health, you know, whatever have you. Like mine showed that I had uh, slightly elevated blood pressure. I was like, heifer, why you had to put this on this, <laughs> this thing? You ain't even put me on no medicine. Unnecessary. All unnecessary like that. Like, like I'm going to go there and have a heart attack on these people. But the slight, <laughs> slight, you know, so all this got to be signed. What else they had to have? That so is that, is, that, is that for all the different visas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all the visas you're going to have to have that, that, that medical report regardless. I mean, yeah. I mean, just like everything you're saying right now, all the bullet points, all the visas have all the same things. All the same credentials, well, qualifications. It's gonna be a lot of crossover, but definitely crossover. That, that, that insurance and that medical report you're gonna have to have. Mm -hmm. and yeah, they want you to have and the background check. Yeah. And the background check, you gotta have the FBI background check. Um, SA insurance, not American insurance. Yeah, SA insurance. SA insurance. SA insurance. Yeah. And you can't just go to your regular doctor, you have to go to a, a, a clinic that's specialized in immigration uh, physicals. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, you they. I mean, Memphis they have them. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Ashley has it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so we there. ask you this then. So it, let's just say we plan on leaving in September. When do you suggest we start this process? Huh? If we plan on leaving in September, when do I you say, suggest? I say now. I say now. Now. Yeah. As soon as possible. Yeah. Start getting all this stuff together. Your FBI so, clearance is good for six months. They don't, the, the insurance don't work like our insurance. We pick up the phone, we call, uh, uh, who is that? Name of insurance company, uh, Blue Cross. Well, hey, Humana, you get them on the phone, you say, I need some insurance, and they say it's going to cost you this much, and you send them the money, you're good. Not the, that's not the way it works over there. It's like they have to send it out to underwriting, and it may take seven days or something for you to get the insurance itself or whatever have you. It's a, it's, Somewhat familiar. Somewhat similar, but yeah. our stuff, I know I can call and get insurance tonight. Right. You know? Not, I, not, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a open enrollment or a life event, you know, but yeah. I see well, what you're saying. Like, like if I want on the exchanges of Obamacare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm thinking also about <laughs> auto, auto insurance too. I'm thinking <laughs> auto insurance. You roll off yeah, auto you know, insurance. Yeah, yeah. It's a little yeah. Different. yeah. Yeah, that's a little different. <laughs> Yeah, health insurance is, is you can't just be like, hey, I need some insurance. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they want to know something. They want to know a lot. They want to know if you're an ex smoker or whatever have you. Right. But anyway, um, uh -huh. I also got this thing which I'm recommending everybody get because 
I should have said it's a good deal. And that is the international driver's license. Yeah, I just told the wife I was going to get that. Right. It's a, it's, it's, it's simple. It took me 20 minutes, went down to the local AAA office, brought in my license. She filled out some paperwork, um, took my photo or whatever have you, put it all together, and I walked out. I mean, 20 minutes tops or whatever have you. And I saw they, it. It looked like a, it didn't even look official to me. It like bootleg. It looked look like a little <laughs> phone. It looked like a, a bootleg passport. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looked like. You how long was it good, how, how how long was it good for? One year. One year from the date on the front. But here's the thing. If I think Asha said she needed to purchase a vehicle or it helped with her purchasing a vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's why I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to get that one in the vehicle and you don't want to run into any trouble. So if I can. Right. So where do you this, get that? Triple A. Triple A. Triple A. Okay. Yeah. And it's a real, it's a real <laughs> pretty simple thing. Yeah. yeah okay. I mean, it's a store. I mean, are you, uh, you did it online or you went to a physical? I went to a physical place right out, you know, AAA uh, location right out here in Metairie. Okay. I, I, I that up. Yeah. I called, make sure that they were open and that they did it. And she said, yep. And I was like, how long will it take? Because I thought it was going to be something like I go in, fill out an application. It's going to take three weeks or something. She's like, oh no, you'll walk out with it today. And when I saw what I walked out with, I was like, I could have done this <laughs> <laughs> myself. <laughs> but that's cool. Take the $20, it's official. <laughs> it's official. The family, look, we've been on here almost an hour. I know this is gonna take forever to upload. Mm. But man, any, any, any closing remarks? We good, man. Definitely. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't, can't wait. wait. Can't wait till we all get on the continent and have a good time together. I'm telling you, I can't wait till yeah, we are all sitting around a bride at somebody's house. All of us, right? And some more people. Because we got brother Greg there. We got sister Asha there. Um, Man. I can't it's wait so till many. Gerald's there. And yeah, so many. It's, it's so it's many of us over there. Yeah, it'd be so Doc's house. Because Doc showed me the house he was looking at. And it was like, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to my dog house. <laughs> I, sent you, I sent you mine, too. Hey, look, that's nice. Look, what we are thinking about doing now, man, I think we think, um, I think if you're looking at under like, what's it, 2.5 million rand, which is about what, 150,000? Yeah, about, about 150,000. If you, you know, to buy a house there as a non-citizen, you had to put half down. So, you know, we're thinking like with the seller this home, we may just go on and just put half down and buy us a nice small place mm -hmm. as opposed to paying, you know, rent, well, at least we'll be play, paying on something that we're going to eventually own. But I mean, that's all up in the air right now. You know, we, we hoping these people really buy this house and don't back out on us <laughs> or whatever have you. But right. if, if it works out like that, I think that's, and, and Adrian that's found, nice. I'll send you the link. Adrian found a nice one. It was cute. Where well, yeah. was it, Bryanston? Uh, the first one I found was a Morningside. And Morningside. I've a lot of like Craig yeah. I think yeah. you guys were talking about Craig Um Yeah. Quite a that's, few something that think, that's something to think about. And, yeah. and, and like I said, I, I even spoke to the wife about uh, the, gated, the gated communities. Yeah. Oh, definitely still gated. Yeah, yeah, definitely still <laughs> right. I think I think we should definitely uh, make that a. Uh, I think a, it's a good priority. Let me tell you why. Because um, number one is the security, right? Number two, you have all of these amenities right on the estate. You know, you'll have the clubhouse. We go get something to eat. You can have a place to work out. Uh, I know in in some of these apartment complexes they have laundry. You know, we could take your dry cleaning on your estate. I mean, you really can't beat that type of stuff. I mean, yeah. Once you get past the gates, you don't have to leave if you don't want. Yeah, yeah. for an extra cup, for an extra few dollars, that 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 those amenities sound really, really good. Right, and then, like I said, it's the protection for me. Yeah, you know, and it's also this. Now, y'all, y'all children are older, but I got babies. Y'all saw them. I want to tell them go outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't come back. Yeah. It's nighttime. Yeah. Don't come yeah. back to my house. 
You want some water? Get some water from the hose pipe outside. <laughs> from the from the from the faucet. Remember, remember we talking about that? He was like the faucet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not drinking water out of no faucet. Which, which one? Which one said that? I'm not drinking out the faucet. Look, it's still a little cooler outside with some water in it, some ice, and you can cater to the bougie-ness and also keep it outside. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Nah, Creative oh, solutions. <laughs> man, look, I drink out the hose pipe, but it ain't done me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You, you drink, 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 drink out runoff first. All of the gotta, all, every neighbor, every neighbor house, we drink out their hoses. Out the yeah. hoses. Every neighbor. And the, and the water yeah. tastes like rubber. Yeah. And that made you strong. Yeah. Hot water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you gotta let it. You gotta let it run ten seconds. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Then it gets cool. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna send them outside. Y'all go and let them be in a neighborhood where I know, like, hey, this They're is good. secure and it's locked down. Some of these, um, some of them are smaller. Like I think what she was looking at is actually a cluster, oh. which only had like 60 houses. Well, I don't, I don't mind the clusters. Yeah, I just don't like the small. They have clusters where it's only like eight houses. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. Small. Yeah, that just mean you're just a victim. That's just. <laughs> That's you have a one in eight chance of being a victim. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little better odds. I need a little better odds. I need that one in 250. <laughs> you said you're one in eight. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more neighbor options. Yeah. No, nah, you got nosy neighbors. They be all in the business. They gonna know right. what time you come, what time you go. Like, who was that at your house yeah. last night? Yeah. <laughs> That's that could be a that could be a good thing though. Yeah. Or it could be annoying. Yeah, we we went to one of the clusters, and it was like a street that you go in, and it went around to come back out, and it was only like six houses. On this whole little cluster, and I was like, "Nah, man." I don't and I think know. one family actually owned like all of them. You no, remember it, that I one think... that we went to, and just like, "Oh, these these family, this family owns these." I was like, "Oh yeah, I, I don't definitely want to be that like that." On someone's family compound. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, then that one guy. We went to one uh, <laughs> cluster. This man, look. Let me tell you how amazing this guy's house was, because he split his house up into four separate units. The first unit was a three bedroom, two bed. Mm -hmm. I think the second one was a three bedroom, two bed, but a different than the other two were like- um, um, Efficiencies? But it, I want to call it an efficiency because these were like legit one bedroom apartments. You know, efficiency you think of something mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, no, this was legit. So, 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 so all of that was one house? It was one house at one time, and he split it up into four wow. units. And we went to go look they at were it. Size, they were big they, they, yeah, like, like 23 and 2,400 square feet in the three bedroom. <laughs> wow. Was it to, to keep and his kids away this. from him? Huh? Was it to keep his kids away from him? <laughs> well, you know, he said his kids were staying, <laughs> like one of his children was staying in one of the efficiencies, and he was staying in the other one. So he moved out. He did all this, I guess, and he figured he could rent these these three of them out or these two others out and just make cake while he's staying in the, one of the little, he and his wife, whatever wow. have you. But he put a pool on each thing. Yeah. There was a pool for the, the first three bedroom, a pool for the second three bedroom, a pool for the fifth, yeah. And they had a wow. tennis court. I was just like, man, how a big brother? was this house before you did all this, man? This is a brother? No, indeed, man. Come on yeah. now, man. Oh, I'm going to say Chief Riz. <laughs> he was British. Yeah, British. Like, yeah. He had British. He had British. With, the little, with the little British thing almost looked like a uh, Confederate flag without the stars. <laughs> oh, it yeah. made me nervous. Oh. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I saw that flag, I'd have been like, you turn. <laughs> you turn. <laughs> Nice. The place was nice, but I was like, we can't do it. I can't. Wow. This, I like, can't be next door to you, man. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, not like that. This is too much. Like he want to control who comes in and out. Wow. Yeah. And he had I just see you hanging feet. up sheets, I'm a, I'm gonna be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be worried. Mm -mm. Man, let me go, man. It's, it's, okay. This is long, man. I don't even know this is gonna load All up. Right. Man. Gonna All right. Up. All right.
Man, it's been a pleasure, pleasure talking to y'all. So I'm gonna end the thing. We can still run it, but I'm gonna end the uh, recording. So family, remember, if you stayed on this long, you're a soldier. And <laughs> all right, let me end the record. Oh, they got the, the original general right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, y'all doing y'all little thing. Y'all wanna do it again? Hey, man. It's <laughs> all right. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all check out changing the narrative uh, podcast too on youtube changing the narrative